All right, what's up everybody? Today I'm gonna to introduce you to a custom code workflow that will help you organize your projects. Now, this video is for you if you have a ton of code in your before closing body tag here to run on your Webflow site and you don't wanna have that. I'm gonna introduce you to some industry standard tools like Webflow, Visual Studio Code, GitHub, and JS Deliver. So if you've heard about these but aren't quite sure where to get started, then this video is for you and let's check it out. Hey there, Webbay. All right, we'll get started in GitHub Desktop here. If you aren't familiar with GitHub, it's a cloud-based service to store and manage code using Git. So this is gonna help us manage versions of our code. Now I'm just gonna start by creating a new repository and we'll call this excuse generator um, none. And this is where it's saving, that's fine. We're not gonna use a git ignore file and no license needed. So let's go ahead and create our repository. And now that it has been created, we can open the repository in an external editor and I'm gonna open it in Visual Studio Code. Okay, now that we have Visual Studio Code open, in the left here we have our file browser. Let's make a new file, we'll call it index.js. And I'm just gonna cut and paste some code in here. Okay, let's take a quick look at this code. Not too important what it does, but we'll go over it anyways. So we're looking for an element on the page with an ID of excuse button. Once we find that, we're also going to set a event listener on it down here. We wanna listen for the click event. And when that happens, we're going to run our generate excuse button. And the output of generate excuse is gonna be set to the inner HTML of a text element that I've given the ID of excuse message. Now generate excuse, all it does is it has four different arrays, all with different strings inside of it. It randomly gets one of those and generates a random excuse for us down here by returning that value. Again, that's not very important. What we wanna do now is we wanna click down here, go live. We have the live server extension installed in Visual Studio Code. You can get the extensions here and just turn live server. And this is the one that I'm using today. It has over 38 million downloads. Okay, back to our code, we'll click go live and I'm going to copy and paste the URL up here at the top. Okay, back in Webflow, let's go into our page settings. We'll get rid of all this code and we'll just drop our script tag up here at the top inside the head tag. Now this is a script element and we're deferring it, which means download it right away, but don't execute it until the DOM content loaded event has fired. And then we're, load, we're setting the source here to be our local computer at index.js. So that URL that we got from the last page is going right in there. And we can save this and publish. Now on the page, when I click the button, I will get some randomly generated excuses. Okay, that's great, but this code only exists on our local computer, so we need to send it to GitHub so that we can access it via the internet. Back in GitHub Desktop, we can see that GitHub has tracked that we have added this code right here, and we'll go ahead and create a commit down here. So let's say create index.js, just like it's expected, and generates excuses. And we'll go ahead and commit to main. Okay, so we've committed that, and now it's telling us to publish our repository to GitHub. So let's go ahead and click publish. And the name is excuse generator, that's great. We can keep this code private. Actually, we need to uncheck this because it needs to be public for us to serve it and find it on our Webflow site. And then we'll go ahead and publish this. Now in our GitHub repositories, we see the excuse generator repository here. And we can click on that and we can see that index.js and that .git attributes file are here. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to create a release. So I'm gonna click this create a new release button over here on the right side. And that brings us to the release page. And let's go ahead and choose a tag we're just gonna call it V1 and we'll create a new tag for that. So we have V1 populating here and the target is the main branch. And we'll just give the title the exact same thing, V1. I'm not gonna add a description and we'll publish our release. Now that our release is published, we can head over to JS Deliver and click on the GitHub tab here. This is how we're going to host our code on the CDN. Very important that we uncheck that make this code private checkbox back in GitHub Desktop. So I'm just copying this and I am going to paste it into the browser here and so I need to use this URL as a template. So my username is LeeryJK. My repo is excuse generator. My version is v1 and the file is index.js. Now, if I press enter, we get the exact same code showing up on our page like we did when we hosted this via 127.0.0.1 or our local machine. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab this URL. So I've copied that and then we can come back to Webflow back into our code settings and come right down here to the script tag and put our CDN hosted code there. So let's save it and publish. All right, and let's check it, it's still working, but our code now is coming from CDN on the internet and not from our local computer. So we could send this to anybody and it would be working for them. Now, let's say I wanna update this code. All I need to do is come back here into settings and I wanna test it as well. So I'm gonna be making some iterations, but I'll just drop that local hosted version of our code here 
and save and republish that to staging. So if I was working on a live site, I would just publish this to staging and I would leave the actually hosted via CDN version on the production domain. Now we can come into our code and start adding some more excuses for us to use in our template. And back on our staging domain, I've got even more excuses now that I've generated and the code seems to still be working. Thankfully, I did not break anything in that small minor change. Now we go back to GitHub desktop and we see that it has detected all of these changes and it wants to update and add a new commit. So let's update index.js and no description, we'll commit that to main. So that's been committed and we need to publish our local commit and push it to GitHub. So I'm pressing that and it's sending everything up to GitHub. So let's go back to GitHub to create a release. Back at our repository homepage, let's go ahead and click on the releases section over here. We'll click releases and we'll create a new release. We'll call it V2, create this new tag, V2 and publish release. Okay, we've got our release. We can go back to our JS deliver code. And if I bring up the URL explorer here, if I just change V1 to V2, we can see that now we get our updated code on our CDN. So let's go ahead and copy this and come back to Webflow. And we'll just drop it back right in here in the source attribute. And we'll save it and we'll publish. So that's published and we can check it on the staging domain and everything is working. We can go ahead and push this to the live domain as well if we wanted to. All right, that covers the basics of this workflow. If you wanna take this thing to the next level, I recommend checking out Node Package Manager or NPM. That's a way of importing your favorite libraries and tools. And then if you use that in combination with a bundler, you won't have to add script tags for things like GSAP or uh, whatever other libraries that you wanna use in your project. I also recommend checking out semantic versioning. For versioning in this project, we just did V1, V2, V3. But if you check out semantic versioning, you can specify major, minor, and breaking changes. And then there's also GitHub Actions that you could automate a release anytime you publish code to GitHub. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to take it further, remember my other videos go over a lot of that stuff I just mentioned. So be sure to check those out and I will see you in the next one.